for the University of Xander, and welcome back to ARW. We're here for the very next episode of ARW, episode 102, here live on August 6, 2020, for the next exciting edition of the ARW. We're kicking things off tonight with some tag team action as we're going to see four men who will face off in the Fatal Five way at Bash at the Beach. Face off in tag action right now. So here we go with that promised tag team matchup. Here comes a man with a plan. Here comes Dr. Eggman down to the ring. The story begins with who's gonna win. Knowing the danger. Eggman, a very proud strut as he walks down to the ring. Whoa! That was impressive. Dr. Eggman enters the ring. Seems that the former ARW World Heavyweight Champion is in the other the one winged angel. Team of the Severoff. He was the last man to confront Giovanni last week. In fact, he even caused Giovanni the main event match. He had to make... I said cost the match. He showed up during the match between Captain America. He showed up during the massacre between Captain America and Giovanni. The one-sided beatdown. Easy to get it. Either way, Sephiroth entering the ring. So Sephiroth teams up with Eggman tonight. And they're taking on two other former members of Big Bad Bosses. That's it. Interesting seeing how this unfolds. As you know, due to uh, due to my input with ARW and my position backstage, I actually in my own home have posters that I see every day in my office, in my home, from the last two Xander Mania. It's always interesting seeing how things have changed with these former Big Bad Bosses members all the way back at Xander Mania 2019. Bowser and Eggman weren't even on the show. Giovanni had yet to debut for ARW, and Sephiroth and Ganondorf were fighting in the number one contenders match for the World Championship. The team hadn't even formed yet. And come a full year later, and Big Bad Bosses have removed Sephiroth. He was competing in a three stages of Hell match that night. Another number one contenders match for Sephiroth. Giovanni had replaced him, and you know they were a team united. And then here we are, just a few months later, and they're all split up yet together again. Almost poetic in a sense. Either way, here comes Bowser to the ring. Giovanni, as I said, the only member, former member missing at the moment. He will not be in action tonight, but he will be in action very soon. Giovanni will be competing next week on ALW. Just not tonight. Bowser, the last man to enter the ring. So it's going to be Bowser, Eggman, Giovanni, and Ganondorf in some. Bowser, Eggman, Sephiroth, and Ganondorf in tag team action. I've got to get used to talking about Sephiroth again. So here we go. Oh, Eggman. Slam from Ganon. It was a nice try from Eggman, but I don't know if he truly thought that would work or not. As Ganondorf knocks Eggman back right hand and went for a headbutt. Ganondorf gets knocked back by Eggman. Eggman. Whoa, Ganondorf finds the counter. 
Knocks him in the corner. It's actually really interesting seeing Gam go over several of on opposite sides tonight. They are former tag team champions together, so it's certainly interesting watching them be on the other side of the match again. Another interesting thing, you just saw a double team maneuver from Bowser and Ganondorf. I don't know if anyone expected that as Bowser just slammed Eggman down. Sephiroth not offering the same, you know, courtesy of saying, hey, how about you tag me if you're not feeling too well, robot? No. To Eggman, but. Who really knows, I suppose. And Eggman throws Bowser in the corner. Eggman. Now he's got Bowser. Throws him across the ring. Down goes the referee. And Bowser finds the counter. Bowser, Eggman counters. I got nothing for what he was thinking there. Now Bowser went for a jab. Eggman counters. Eggman knocks him back. And Eggman throws Bowser in the corner. Big takedown from Eggman. And Eggman with a clothesline to the back of Bowser. Eggman looking to pick up the King of the Koopas. And Bowser, knee strike, takes down Dr. Eggman. Takes him right back up now. The thing about Bowser and Ganondorf is, you know, after... after uh, Sephiroth left the group, and after they lost the tag team championships, Bowser and Ganondorf did start tag teaming. So, there's some tag team experience between these two. As well, here comes Sephiroth now. He gets caught by Ganondorf, he just throws him across the ring. Well, Ganon, where was that? Over a year ago, when you were fighting this man for a number one contendership. Sephiroth gets taken down. Now it's Sephiroth paying the price. You know, there's probably some pent up frustration between all four of these guys tonight. They're taking out on one another in this tag match. It's just honestly a very fascinating matchup to watch for me. And for those who follow Big Bad Bosses in ARW, it's, what, it's especially going to be interesting to watch all five of them go head to head. To head to head to head, I suppose. If you're not literal about it at Bash at the Beach. He's getting to throw Sephiroth across the ring. Eggman wants the tag. Here comes Eggman. He's going up top. And went for a double axe handle. Ganondorf out of the way. Eggman catches him. Ganondorf takes down Eggman. Gets him up on his, on his shoulders. And Ganondorf with an F5 to Eggman. Cover, but Sephiroth distracting the referee. Playing some old B3 tactics against the other side. One, two. Oh, and bought Eggman just enough time to kick out. Now Ganondorf throws Eggman across the ring. Tag made back to Bowser. Now Bowser and Ganondorf send Eggman off the ropes. And a double back body drop connects from... Bowser and Ganondorf as now Bowser knee strike to Eggman right hand turns him around Bowser tosses down Eggman and now Bowser well takes down Eggman again and Bowser looking for one more down goes the doctor and now Bowser grabs Sephiroth and throws him in the ring too Now Bowser, he's been the most dominant one since this rivalry between the former members started. And now, well, it's a repeat from last week. He picks up Eggman. Hits him with Shell Shock. That's gonna do it. Sephiroth. Well, you saw he came in and got some flurry of attacks. Gun knocked on his ass and was immediately said, I'm done, and got out of it. Left, left Eggman on his own, more or less, in the end. Cheered on him. Had no problem cheering on him on the outside. Then, when it seemed the going got tough, he got going, that's for sure. Left Eggman to take a brutal F5 that we're going to see a replay of right here. As well as an intense shell shot. Bowser and Ganondorf together again with a big victory. Interesting bit of action to start us off tonight. But we're far from done for tonight. Because up next, we have an eight-woman over-the-top rope battle royal to determine who faces Samus Aaron at Bash at the Beach for the ARW Women's Championship. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys, but I certainly am.
Well, like I said, up next tonight, woman over the top rope battle royal. I don't think I've got to explain the rules here. We've been doing ARW for almost two years, for a year and a half. If you don't know yet, well, quite frankly, how? We've done a lot of these things. We do them a lot. Either way, joking aside, here comes the first woman competing. It is Aqua making her way to the ring. Aqua, it's been a very long time since she's challenged for the LW Women's Championship. She has challenged for it in the past, though. Well, we're going to see what happens when she gets an opportunity to potentially become number one contender tonight. Up next, possibly the greatest rival of Santa's era. A woman who has challenged her in the past for the ARW Women's Championship, mind you. Through the crowd she comes, it's Tifa Lockhart. Tifa making her way to the ring. Marching down through the crowd. I do really like Tifa Lockhart's entrance here. It's very unique, very. It's a very unique. It's not something that we see any other people do now, I you, so. I very much enjoy Tifa Lockhart's entrance. Either way, she's made her way to the ring. Who else is in this battle royal? You might be asking, well. I will go ahead and tell you two people who aren't in it. That is Captain Marvel and Wonder Woman. But out next, speaking of former number one contenders, here comes Chun Li. Chun Lee making her way to the ring, but as I was saying, there's actually a reason why Captain Marvel and Wonder Woman are not part of the Battle Royal. And that is because after Wonder Woman attacked Captain Marvel last week at on ARW, we are now going to be seeing at Bash at the Beach. A stipulation. You know, it's, a, it's a matchup style, type that we've seen a lot more often lately than I've realized. Here comes Camilla, though. But anyway, to, to finish my thought here, I keep getting sidetracked. Camilla makes the weather. At Bash at the Beach, we'll be seeing Captain Marvel and Wonder Woman renew their rivalry one last time. And they're going to end it once and for all in a last woman standing match. If you don't know what that is, remember Xander versus Sephiroth, last man standing, fight back. There you go. Now you know. It's just that. Up next, the woman who challenged very recently, all the way just back at ARW Annihilation and came up short that night, the Tomb Raider, Laura Croft. Next, the Umbra Witch, it's Bayonetta.
out next. Uh, the first woman to challenge Samus Aaron for the ARW Women's Championship. You scared? This I don't think it near her. She scared me. Daughter of Shao Kahn. Molina. And finally, Diva. So, we have our eight contestants. Only one woman is going to get the challenge, Samus Aaron. Who's it going to be? Time to find out. So here we go. As now, oh, Bayonetta grabs Chun Li, throws her over. Remember back at Xander Mania, these two were the final two in the Women's Battle Royal there. You gotta wonder who's going to be the first one eliminated. Is Bayonetta again, like I said, looking for that redemption for that loss at Xander Mania many months ago. But it looks like Chun Li's going to hang on. Whoever wins this match, as I said, will go on to Bash at the Beach to challenge Samus Aaron for the Women's Championship. Down goes Bayonetta. That first elimination is very pivotal in this match as, oh, Chun Li hangs on. Nobody's been eliminated quite yet, but Commentator's Curse could take effect any time as well. Very close call for there for Chun Li. I thought, well, it looked like it could have for Diva there. It's actually going to, oh, I thought it was going to be Tifa Lockhart. But she hung on. And now Laura Croft, former number one contender in her own right, could be eliminated. Laura Croft's in some trouble. And now she's got Bayonetta joining in. And Laura Croft, she's got to hang on. So does Tifa. She holds on. They both hold on. Oh, but now Aqua and Bayonetta are trying their hardest. But no, Croft's going to hang on. Now Tifa knocked back again. Aqua knocked back by Bayonetta. Tifa thrown over the top. Aqua thrown over the top. But Aqua hangs on. Bayonetta gets knocked back. And oh, Tifa and Tifa and Croft and Diva all gone in the space of a few seconds from one another. We're down to five already. Just like that. Look how much emptier the ring's gotten. They get four. There goes Aqua. Tifa, Aqua, Diva, and Croft all eliminated at once. Oh, and Camilla with a drop kick to the back of Bayonetta. Molina going after Chun Li. Some history between Molina and Chun Li as well. As now Chun Li grabs Bayonetta and brings her back. And oh, Molina's gone. And Bayonetta, well, throws Chun Li over the top. And now Camilla and Bayonetta. Turn their attention to Chun Li on the outside. Oh, and Chun Li knocks back Bayonetta and Camilla. Oh, now Camilla's just showing off a little bit. Showing off that she's strong, I guess. As well, Bayonetta over the top. Bayonetta in some trouble now. Will she be eliminated? Bayonetta's in some serious trouble. Camilla looking to eliminate her. Could that be it? Is Bayonetta out? No, she's not. She hangs on. But maybe not for long as Chun Li grabs her, throws her in the corner. And oh, Bayonetta finds the counter. Chun Li hangs on. And now Bayonetta looking to eliminate Chun Li on her own as Camilla now just showing out again. We went from eight to five to three in just a matter of seconds. I don't know how it happened. As now Camilla grabs Bayonetta. Camilla looking to eliminate her. Camilla's got her against the ropes. Camilla now looking to eliminate Bayonetta. The Umbra Witch is in some trouble here. Bayonetta in some serious trouble. And she's out of there. We're down to two. Whoever wins this gets the championship match at Bash at the Beach. Who's it going to be? Oh, Chun-Li, look at these rapid kicks here. Knocking back Camilla, one more to the head. Chun-Li may have just done it. Oh, what's she doing, though? She's calling Camilla up. Chun-Li. With a thrust kick, and another, and another, and another. Oh, and one more for good measure. Down goes Camilla. Well, if it was a singles match, Camilla may have been out of it, and Chun-Li would have had it won, but it is a battle royal, so you got to get your opponent over the top rope, and Chun-Li, well... She's in some trouble now. Camilla's turning it around on her. 
Camilla's got her from behind. Camilla, whoa, throws her over the top. Chun Li hangs on. Camilla with the right. Chun Li's teetering though. Camilla, Camilla could do it. Camilla's done it. Camilla is going to bash at the beach. And Camilla knocks off the rest of the competition tonight. Throws Chun Li over the top for the win. Camilla will go to bash at the beach, and Camilla will be challenging. Santa's Aaron. A big win for Camilla tonight. But we have more action coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got the return of The Witcher up next. We have quite the showdown on our hands up next, ladies and gentlemen, because here come the former ARW Tag Team Champions. It's just one of them in action tonight, so you'll only be seeing the win-loss graphic up in the top left corner up there for just one of them. Because it's going to be Shao Kahn of the Tyrannical Titans in action tonight. It's a tag team up with Thanos to come to the ring. You're probably wondering, well, are these two not in a qualifying match for Bash Because they will be next week. Uh, Tyrannical Titans next week will be taking on another tag team in a qualifying match. We'll actually be seeing the next qualifying match. Up next, though, determine who joins Dawn of Justice and Will McIntyre. But Shao Kahn is in some singles action tonight because Shao Kahn takes on in singles action. He's taking on the Witcher. Geralt of Arivia. Two weeks in a row, I see his name, right? Good for me. It's Geralt making his way to the ring. Timmy Geralt versus Shao Kahn up next. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. As Geralt starts off with a kick, but Shao Kahn throws him into the mat. Now Shao Kahn kicks to the back of Geralt, and Geralt pulls himself up to his feet. Goes for a chop, right hand for another. Geralt gets caught with a headbutt from Shao Kahn. And Geralt now back to his feet. Chop Shao Kahn. And Geralt takes him down, raining down right hands. Down goes Shao Kahn. And now Geralt picking up Shao Kahn. Geralt goes for a kick. Shao Kahn finds the counter. Shao Kahn, whoa, gets hung up on the ropes. And Geralt picks him up. And now Geralt grabs Shao Kahn. Throws him in the corner. And Geralt clotheslines him. Down goes Shao Kahn. And Geralt now looking to pick him up. Shao Kahn finding the counter and knocks him back. Kick to the back for good measure. Working him over now as Geralt. Double axe handle. Uh, gets caught with a double axe handle from Shao Kahn. Now Shao Kahn. Oh, Geralt back to his feet. And Geralt takes out the arm. Turns Shao Kahn around. Geralt with a chop. And Shao Kahn now shoves him back. And Shao Kahn's got the Witcher. And what is Shao Kahn thinking? He's got him in the corner here. Shao Kahn now with Geralt. Hurls him across the ring. And Shao Kahn. Oh, Geralt knee strike connects. Looking for a forearm. Shao Kahn kind of swatted him down. Geralt is at a bit of a size disadvantage here. Not something the Witcher... Ob obviously not something the Witcher comes up against all too often here in ARW. It's a pretty big guy, but we do have Titans like Shao Kahn in this matchup as well. Because there's a right hand from Shao Kahn. We do a couple on Geralt. One. Two. Whoa, near fall there. Very near fall for the Witcher. And now Shao Kahn's got him in seated position. Shao Kahn working over the arm. Shao Kahn looking to take down Geralt of Rivia. Down he goes. Now Shao Kahn calling him up for that choke slam. We've seen that be a very effective maneuver as part of Big Bat, or as part of the Tyrannical Titans in the past, and it takes down Geralt tonight into a cover. Put away the Witcher. One, two. Oh, Geralt kicked out. 
Big kick out from Geralt. Shao Kahn right back into a cover. And another kick out from the Witcher. That's been with Geralt. In some trouble. Shao Kahn takes an state of position. Shao Kahn has him by the neck. Shao Kahn working over the neck of Geralt now. Shao Kahn. Has Geralt. Geralt trying to get back to his feet. And Geralt up to his feet. Knocking back Shao Kahn. Geralt knocks back Shao Kahn. Kicks him in the ribs. And look at this from Geralt. Picks him up and drops him. Cover. One. Two. And Shao Kahn kicks out. And now Geralt going up to the middle rope. What's Geralt thinking here? Off the top. Double axe handle connects. Geralt now picks up Shao Kahn. And Geralt. Right hand to the wrist. And another. Here comes Geralt. Went for another. Counter from Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn went for a boot. Geralt turns him around. Geralt grabs Shao Kahn, knocks him back. Down goes Shao Kahn. And now Shao Kahn in some trouble. Geralt picks him up, and Geralt, right hand, and another. Chops him. Chops him again. Chops him one more time. And now Shao Kahn, look at the strength. He just threw Geralt across the ring. And the Witcher goes down, covered by Shao Kahn. No, a kick up from Geralt. Let's see a position now. Look at the strength now. Shao Kahn picks him up, and Shao Kahn headbutts him. Down goes Geralt. Another cover from Shao Kahn. One Noah kick out again from Geralt. Now Shao Kahn. What's he going to do this time? Oh, Geralt's back to his feet, and Geralt with a back body drop. Geralt finally on his own two feet here. Picks Shao Kahn back up, and now Geralt grabs Shao Kahn again. Slams him into the mat, into another cover to knock off the ruler of Outworld. One, two, no, Shao Kong kicks out. And Geralt, what's he thinking here? He's up to the middle rope. Geralt, double axe handle connects. And an elbow drop. Geralt, and for another double axe handle. Shao Kong out of the way. Right hand to the back of Geralt. A clothesline to the back of the head. Picks him up to his feet now, Shao Kahn. Oh, Geralt counters, Geralt. Oh, it's caught and Shao Kahn throws him across the ring. And Shao Kahn standing over the Witcher as Geralt trying to get back to his feet. Geralt kneeling before Shao Kahn unintentionally there. To one knee, up to his feet. Oh, found the counter. Cutter! Geralt's not done. Geralt kicks Shao Kahn. And look at the strength of Geralt. Picks him up again. Slams him down. By slamming the mat, you know what's coming. Oh no, a counter. And Shao Kahn with a counter. Geralt, you shouldn't have gotten greedy. That may have just cost him. Geralt in some trouble here. Shao Kahn grabs him. And Shao Kahn swings him and throws him across the ring. What's Shao Kahn thing in here? Shao Kahn's calling up Geralt. What's Shao Kahn going to do? Oh, went for a clothesline. Nobody home. Geralt lays him out again. And the Witcher into the cover. One, two, no. Shao Kahn able to kick out. Too big, too strong is Shao Kahn. Picks him back up, and Shao Kahn gets in trouble as Geralt grabs him. Geralt slams him down. What Geralt's calling on? What is Geralt thinking here? Grabs Shao Kahn, throws him in the corner, and Geralt. Oh, Shao Kahn finds the counter. Geralt kicks him in the ribs, and Geralt. Oh, with the get him again. Shao Kahn took him down. But Geralt hung up in the ropes. Shao Kahn turns him over, and Shao Kahn into a cover. No, Geralt kicks out. The Witcher able to kick out. Now Shao Kahn grabs Geralt and look at this. Headbutts him again. Now Kahn picking him up. Shao Kahn. No, Geralt out of the way again. Geralt. Elbow strike knocks Shao Kahn back. And Shao Kahn stomps Geralt. And the Witcher's in some serious trouble now. 
Steps over him now, and Geralt's in some trouble. Shao Kahn now. Picks up Geralt and Shao Kahn. Grabs him. Throws him in the corner. Close lines up. Now Geralt scooped up by Shao Kahn, and Shao Kahn bounces him head first. Shao Kahn off the ropes, boots him. And Kahn off the ropes, into a leg drop. Oh, but Geralt finding the counter, and Geralt takes him down. Geralt now. Kahn picks up Shao Kahn, and Geralt wasting no time. Geralt, cutter to Shao Kahn. And Geralt off the third cutter. Cover on Shao Kahn. One, two. Geralt's your winner. A successful return for the Witcher tonight. Big win for the Witcher. A few weeks since we've seen him, he's back in full force now. What a battle between he and Shao Kahn as well, but a big win for the Witcher. Up next, we have a qualifying match for the Bash of the Beach tag team Fatal Four. It's time for more tag team action though, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to find out who's joining the teams of the Dawn of Justice and Middle Mac and Dial. We need tag team for Middle Mac and Dial as the absolute Chads are making their way to the lane. Boba Fett and Deadpool taking on a former set of tag team champions. The Super Mario Brothers make their way to the ring. Mario and Luigi make their way to the ring. Former tag team champions in their own right. It's been a while though. It's been since February. It's been a drought for them when it comes to wins in general since then. So here we go with Luigi and Boba Fett starting off. As Boba Fett, oh, Luigi finds the counter. Luigi now grabs Boba Fett, and Luigi with some quick knee strikes here. Knocks Boba Fett back. Comes Boba. Luigi catches him, but Boba Fett with a counter. And Boba Fett takes him down. And a stomp from Boba Fett. Only nine days away from Bash at the Beach, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there's a bit of a shorter gap between... Annihilation and Bash at the Beach just having to be have the scheduling worked out this year. Usually we try and have four or five weeks between shows, not just three. It's now Luigi thrown in the corner by Boba Fett. And Boba makes the tag and comes Deadpool. And now Deadpool's legal. Deadpool beating down on Luigi. And Deadpool sends Luigi off the ropes on a drop kick. See, like Boba was ready to pull the ropes down to knock Luigi down there. Luigi now trying to get back up, and Deadpool shoves him back, and Deadpool, no Luigi with a counter. And as Luigi throws Deadpool in the corner, tag made, here comes Mario. Now Mario and Luigi off the ropes, and Luigi takes him down and drops to a hold. Mario with an elbow drop. And uppercut from Mario to Deadpool. Mario now up in the matchup. Right hand from Mario. I don't know why. Mario looks like he's had some more wrestling experience since, since, the, since the move from PS4 to PC with LW. That was a super kick from Deadpool. Now Deadpool's calling up Mario. What's Deadpool thinking here? Deadpool... Super kick to Mario, into another. 
Signature finishing off the signature finishing move with Deadpool there. Cover one, two. Oh, and just like that, the absolute Chads are going to bash at the beach. Just like that. A huge win for Boba Fett and Deadpool tonight. Big win for the Absolute Chads, and we now know it'll be Dawn of Justice, the Absolute Chads, Little Mac and Guile, and the winners of next week's matchup between Tyrannos and Titans and Scorpion and Sub-Zero. But a big win for Boba Fett and Deadpool tonight. Up next, all that's left is the main event as a close ally of Captain America will be taking on the Terminator. Up next, it's Tony Stark versus the Terminator. That time that again, ladies and gentlemen, everyone's it's kind of it's kind of that well known when it's coming. It is time for the main event. And we're about to see Iron Man Tony Stark take on the Terminator. Tony Stark, of course. Has been on a decent role as of late. He was in the first reality check matchup. He, and, you know, he has a decent claim to the ARW Championship. Feed. So you'd think. He did dominate former champion Giovanni the night Giovanni won it. Like, beat him in a matter of seconds. And now the night Stark making, the way to, making his way to the ring. He's taking on the man who will, cha who will take on Captain America at Bash at the Beach next Saturday in an M1 Contenders match to the ARW Championship. He's taking on. The Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, a man who's only been beaten a handful of times. Here comes the former ARW champion of the ring. Marches the ring. So it's main event time, it's Stark, it's Schwarzenegger, it's the main event, here we go. And Schwarzenegger starts it with a right, in front of their Stark counters. And now Stark has, has Schwarzenegger up on his shoulders and Schwarzenegger counters, and kills Stark in the mat with a DDT. We see him in hard hitting battles between these two. These two have formed a significantly noticeable rivalry since the beginning of this year when Stark and Schwarzenegger were the final two in the Royal Rumble. So we knew at that time we were either going to see, we, we had one of two rematches on our hands at that time. It would have either been Stark versus Cap 2 or Stark or Cap versus Terminator 2. Well, you know, kind of a combination change the result at least. What remains though, it was Schwarzenegger who threw Stark over the top rope at night to win the Rumble. As Schwarzenegger with a back body drop and a kick to the back. And we've seen them face off several times since. Schwarzenegger's always come out on top though. Right hand to Stark. 
And now Stark grabs Schwarzenegger and Stark and Stark picks him up. And look at the strength of Tony Stark. Suplexes him. And Schwarzenegger rolls back to his feet. Uppercut to Stark. Gets him back up to his feet now. And Schwarzenegger. Right hand. Counter. Gets him the ropes now. Stark sends him off the ropes. And Stark for an elbow. Schwarzenegger went for a right. Stark headbutts him. And now Stark gets Cutler on drag from Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger now has Stark, picks him up, takes him down. And Schwarzenegger, no, Stark counters. Stark puts Schwarzenegger in the corner, and Stark turns him around, puts him in the corner, and Stark grabs Schwarzenegger, look at this, Tony Stark bounces him off the turnbuckle, and hits him with a German. Schwarzenegger now, grabbed by Stark, who drags him away from the ropes, and Stark, cover on the Terminator. One, two, no, Schwarzenegger kicks out. Stark back to his feet, Schwarzenegger knocks him back, Schwarzenegger taken down. And elbow from Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger grabs that knee strike. And now Schwarzenegger looking over the end in a dominant fashion here. Grabs Stark, Stark counters. Schwarzenegger goes down. Schwarzenegger picked up by Stark. Puts him in the corner. And now Stark grabs Terminator, ties him up in the ropes and working over the arm. And now Stark, spine buster. One, two, no. Schwarzenegger kicks out. And now Stark's telling him up. Stark going to look for the Impaler DDT. Stark. Oh, went for the kick. Schwarzenegger got out of the way. Schwarzenegger. Termination D. Now he's calling up Stark and Schwarzenegger. That's Stark. And Schwarzenegger. Choke slam. Cover. And that's it. Big win for Terminator. There's now another big win for the Terminator. A joke slam start to Helen Bank. Big win for Schwarzenegger, though. He stands tall two weeks in a row. It's not something you see very often in ARW. Either way, thank you all for watching tonight's episode of the ARW. That is all we've got time for tonight. Tune back in next week. It'll be the final episode before ARW Bash at the Beach. We'll be seeing the last qualifying match for the Tag Team Fatal 4-Way. Giovanni will be back in action. Tofek on Bowser in single action. Special Forces will take on the Ferocious D-Lines and Jack Sparrow and Bane will meet in the more contenders matches respectively. With all that said, I've been Xander and that was a hard W. See you next week.